Hey guys, welcome to another Excel screencast with bradagger.com and today what we're going to do is show you how you can set monthly targets and use those targets with conditional formatting uh, with a conditional formatting reference to actually display a KPI sales dashboard. So the first thing that we're going to actually do is I'm going to set up each of our columns beside the values under each of the months with our actual values to be the icon area for our dashboard. So the reason I do that is because if we have the font any bigger than 12, I find that the icons do not look good. So what I'm going to do is actually just refer to the value to the right. Um, as you can see, so in this case C6, we're going to refer to D6. So we're just going to set it equal to D6 and then I'm going to copy that across all of the uh, months that we have here. So let's take a look at how we're doing this. I'm just going to type in the formula bar equals D6. Just select that. Now we're going to copy that formula and I'm going to highlight all of the cells where we're going to apply the conditional formatting. So this will take a second. And what we're going to do is actually copy the formula and to do that we simply need to right click and then hit the FX button you see there for the paste. Now that that's done I'm going to want to actually change the number formatting to display nothing. So we don't want any numbers displaying in this column at all. And in order to do that, we use the semicolon within the custom number formatting three times. And essentially that sets a positive value. So any value that's positive is going to show up as blank. Any value that's zero uh, is going to show up as blank. Any value that's negative is going to show up as blank. And any value that is text is also going to show up as blank. So to do that, Go control plus one once you've highlighted everything. Go to custom. We'll hit semicolon once, twice, and three times. For more on, on custom number formatting, I'll, I'll leave some links below. Hit OK. And now you'll see that everything is blank, but you still have that value reference there. So it's actually the value in cell C6, for example, is 36,000. In uh, C7 would be 69,000, and so on. OK. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to highlight the first set of cells from C6 to C15. Go to New Rule. We're going to go to Format Cells based on their values. And I'm going to go to Icon Sets under Format Style and select a specific icon set. Change the type to Number. And then what we're going to do is actually on each value, so the green value is going to refer to the optimal sales target for that month. So C3. And then the value for the low end is going to be $90,000. And we're going to refer to C4 on that one. And then what we'll have to do is actually do the same thing across each of the areas that we have for every month where we want to place these icons. So now we'd go over to E6 through E15. And we'd add that rule there as well. I'll show you a couple just so you can get the hang of it. So you go to Manage Rules. I'm sorry, you go over to um, Create New Rule. Go to Format All Cells Based on Their Values. Go to Icon Sets. Select the Icon Set. Select Number. And then again, we're going to refer to, in this case, the optimal sales target that is above February. And then the minimum sales target that is above February. Get that zero over there. We'll hit OK again. So now you'll see that all the values are showing up as, as so. So anything above 90,000 is in green. Anything uh, in between 40 and 90,000 is in yellow. And then anything below 40,000 is in red. So again, we'll just do that to column G, G6 to G15. We'll add the formatting to that as well. We'll refer to the March optimal sales target and the min sales target. Perfect. And then we're going to hit OK. So now that we've done that, we do the same across the entire board. And this is what you're going to end up with after you're finished. So you have everything filled in. I just did that with all of them. You didn't have to actually see me go through each of them. So I think I gave you enough to just understand what we're doing here. So now that that's finished, you'll see our whole dashboard is now displaying. And now we can update and change any of the sales targets that we want. And you'll see that our icons and our data sets will update based on the values. So if I put zero, everything is in green here. I put 50,000, 
anything below or greater than 50,000 will be in green. And then if we change the zero value to 5,000, for example, you'll see that everything else is in yellow. That's between 5,000 and 50,000. So anytime you update any of these values, you'll see that the values underneath that actual month are going to show up accordingly. So if we do the same thing under February, you can put in 10,000 here. Everything is in green right now, 5,000. So you'll see the entire column is showing in green. If you put 100,000, you'll see that you get yellows across the board because we have no values less than 5,000. Anyway, I think you guys get the, the, the point here and how this actually works. So if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know how you actually use conditional formatting and if you've done this before. Um, if you have any questions too, make sure to leave a comment. I appreciate your time and we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.